I don't know what makes you excited. But if a box like this came to your house, you would barely be able to hold this camera too. It's worth it. Nest the God. It's worth it. is happening everybody it is your boy Ken Sean with Blue Over Media and I am back um, this is probably one of the most exciting videos or exciting series um, that I have done or that I'm going to do I'm so dedicated to my Blue Over Media family that I decided to literally open this new surprise that I have with y'all now probably by the title of the video you already know uh, what is going on but this package literally just came in few minutes ago from FedEx so shout out to the FedEx driver he told me uh, man I'm so glad you're here because I didn't want to bring this back tomorrow I said man I'm so glad you're here because I don't want to get it tomorrow <laughs> so um, I got this brand new package from probably one of the most amazing companies of all time uh, Whipple and so without further ado let's check out what I have so I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to do both of this but here is the box and as you can see nothing has been opened and it's got that Whipple supercharger name on it so let me go ahead and start opening the box as best as I can while still trying to hold the camera because I'm doing this by myself. But let's see what we can do. Oh, need to cut it a little bit more. No, I don't want to go too deep. Oh yeah. Shout out to Whipple for the amazing packaging. There we go. All right. Oh yeah. I mean, so if you all know, if you ever order from Whipple, they make sure, wow. Hang on, this is amazing. <laughs> this is freaking amazing. Wow, this is pretty. Well, I wonder what is under this piece of paper. Well, well, well. <laughs> wow. Yes, so if you don't know, this is the brand new 3.0 Crusher Polished. This is, once again, the brand new 3.0 Polished straight from Whipple Superchargers. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna get all of this stuff out of here. But you saw me, I opened it with you all. So that was that was major. But my, oh man, <laughs> I'm trying to come with this. This is amazing. Wow. I mean, this thing is gorgeous. All right, I'm going to put everything on the table and then we'll do a review of everything. Yes, you all, I have decided to go with the Gen 5 3.0 Whipple Supercharger, which is right here. This thing has been going crazy ever since they announced it right before Black Friday. And I knew when they announced it that this is, I wanted this, but I didn't have my car up and running at the time with the 2.3 Gen 1 that I had. And so if you haven't, or if this is your first time visiting the channel, Watch this video right here. You will see the dyno of the 2.3 Whipple that I had on the car, which got me 621 rear wheel horsepower. And that, and that was on 93 octane, I believe at either 17 and a half pounds of boost or 18, somewhere around there. And so um, when this came out, my thing was, I'm trying to build a, a, a legendary notchback. I'm trying to build one that nobody else has or do something that nobody has done before. And I am the first to have the Gen 5 on a notchback because obviously these are built for all three Cobras. And so, um, so I have everything here. And let me even explain how I got to this. So what ended up happening was I decided one day, I was going back and forth between selling my 2.3. I had a guy make me an offer, I accepted it, and then I changed my mind. And then one day I decided, hey, forget it. Let's sell it. And then I ended up selling everything. 
um, just like that. I took it off my car, and I was gonna look. I was looking for a two point nine. A couple of guys on Facebook had some two a two point nine, and we were talking numbers, and it just didn't work out. Pretty much, they were gonna charge me what I would have paid for this, um, almost, and I just wasn't going to do it. And so, um, I took the supercharger off the car and put the video up on YouTube. Man, a buddy of mine, I was going through all of these, trying to figure it out. Do I call these people? What up? I called Lethal. And shout out to Lethal. As you see, I have the shirt. Um, shout out to Lethal Performance. And shout out to my man, Andrew. So I called Lethal, and they actually took care of me on this. So I ended up getting my GT500 uh, MAF, um, MAF, Mass Airflow, whatever you want to call it, um, from them and the pigtail. So the pigtail is here. This is here. And this cool shirt and the stickers. So shout out to Lethal Performance uh, for that. And you know, I reached out to them and I was gonna uh, I was gonna pull the trigger with them, but something said wait, and then my buddy Darius, shout out to him. He he told me to wait as well. He said, Man, for some reason, man, I feel like if you be patient, um, the deal you need will come to you. So first thing, Stacy, um, who does social media, um, sent my video. So thank you, Stacy, sent my video to Nick. Um, from Whipple Superchargers. Um, Nick ended up reaching out to me on my Blue Over Media page and said, hey man, we like what you're doing. Um, if you're trying to get that uh, Gen 5, give me a call. Let's talk about it. I reached out to him and uh, bottom line, we worked something out. So I just want to say to Nick, thank you. Um, thank you for believing in my channel. Thank you for believing in what I'm doing. It's cool. Thank you to Whipple Superchargers for obviously creating the world's most amazing superchargers. I'm gonna tell you all this, I will not let you down. And so um, with that, you all, I have what I have here and you see all of the stuff um, that came. And so we worked it out. Um, it, was, it was a pretty good uh, situation. And so I'm really pleased with that. I was able to get exactly what I wanted. I got a polished whipple. I did not want to come off having a polished whipple. I was gonna go black if I had to, but Whipple work, hook, worked it out. Nick from Whipple worked it out for me. And so, thank you, man. I, I really do appreciate it. All right, now let's get into it. And so, obviously, you see here, I'm so... So, I'm, I'm one of those guys um, that when you get stuff, like, you don't take the, the plastic off until the, the, the very end for certain things. That's how I am with this right here. Um, because it's so pretty, um, I really don't want to take the plastic off. But you just see how well they packaged it from that previous video. So, you got the 3.0. And... Um, a lot of guys, I'm looking on these Cobra groups, and you know, and I want to say this, you know, sometimes when I put up stuff in these Cobra groups, y'all don't respond or don't say anything at all, and it's okay. It's, it's quite all right. I'm not mad at you all. I get it. Whatever. Um, but it's hard to find out the help, and then another thing that could be an issue, too, is that, you know, you don't want to sound stupid asking a question, but sometimes these guys can make you feel real little, but that's neither here nor there. But now that you're seeing this video, if I post a question, hopefully somebody will help me. Thank you guys. All right, so let's go here. So I have the supercharger here. The instructions are here. I'm actually excited about this. I'm gonna put this on my F-150 um, in the front. Uh, I think this is, a, I needed an actual play cover. So I am gonna put this on my F-150. These Whipple supercharger stickers are going to go on my, um, on my toolbox. Um, this whole minimum 91 octane, <laughs> right. I wish I would put 91 octane in my car. All right, so we got that. <laughs> um, over here, some of the accessories, um, clamps and everything. We got we got hoses. Man, what, let me tell you what I'm excited about with this. I thought I was gonna have to go to the hardware store because I never bought one brand new. Um, the one I had was used and I thought I was gonna have to go to the hardware store, but everything that I need for the most part, everything that I need as it relates to plugging up the stuff in the back, vacuums, Whipple has provided, even to the extent of even giving me holes. So I thought that was great um, as, it, as it relates to that. I thought that that was great. Here goes the, the air filter. Um, uh, let me see. Now, this is what I... <sighs> Jesus, Lord, Hammer. look, now I might have to get close to the camera for this. My God, because I don't think you all understand the magnitude. Jesus. My, <laughs> this is my body and this is my throttle body. Look how big this thing is massive, you all, massive. 
massive. So I wanted to bring this directly to the camera so you all can see. So got the throttle body, freaking amazing. Um, and then pretty much just all of the accessories that you need to make it happen. Oh, the 4.0 pulley. I think I, uh, I might have to call them. I need a, I need a, it's too big. I might have to get a, I'm about to get a smaller one for them. I actually have a 3.0 and a three and a quarter. But I need a three and a half or a three six two five. But got this four old pulley right here. I'm not trying to be that low on boost. I can handle some boost. Um, as you can see here, everything that we need to hook up here. Um, they provided the gaskets for it. I mean, it's it's pretty 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 amazing. I don't think I showed you all the. Uh, so I got the GT500 uh, in the style map. Mass airflow. Slides right in there. Bloop. I'll figure it out later, but that's gonna slide uh, right in. And man, now I'm in a situation where uh, I need to I need to get get it tuned. So the goal is, you all, is for um, I don't, I'm never, I, I took the thing off by myself, but I have to have a buddy of mine help me take my old one off. I refuse to put this in the car by myself. It's definitely, definitely my car is just, it's too much money in paint for me to take that chance. I'd rather have somebody that uh, can help me drop this in there. So the goal is um, over the next few days. So this is part one of this video. So over the next few days, I am going to assemble this supercharger. Okay, we're gonna drop the intercooler on it. Um, I'm going to drop everything that needs to all the little accessories that have to go here and here all the other stuff that you have to put on it to make it work I'm going to drop that on it. The next thing is um, We're going to figure out whatever Custom things that has to happen because I was actually shocked um, When I saw this I'm like, oh my um, This was actually uh, shocking. So I'm going to have to check because I've been on the uh, the forums but I guess I haven't been on them well enough, so I'm going to uh, check that out. And then, um, man, I'm gonna bring bring a couple of buddies of mine who are, are much smarter than me. Obviously, I've done this before, but I've never done this with this. And so this is the Crusher. You know, I don't know how much of a difference it is. Uh, I can see a couple of differences, but for the most part, it looks pretty self-explanatory, but I'm not gonna act like I'm the smartest guy in this, so I will try to do my best. I hate reading instructions, but I will do my best to read it because I want this thing to work and I want it to work right. So the goal is over the next two weeks, I'm going to have this car running and driving. Now, um, from there, I do have a horsepower goal. I'm gonna be straight up honest with you all. I have a horsepower goal. I was sitting at 621. Anything, pretty much anything that says six to me is not gonna be acceptable uh, at all. So. 621 with a Gen 1 2.3. I need to go much better with this. So, yeah. So, I will give you all just a quick show of, of everything so that you can see how great this thing looks. And then we'll go from there. So, there you go. There goes the supercharger. I mean, my... You know this is going to be hard to keep clean. This is why I'm trying to keep the plastic on it as long as I can. But, my God, man, Whipple, you all did an amazing job polishing this. Showed you all that. I mean, like I said, a lot of accessories here. A lot, a lot, a lot. And, uh, man, some stuff that I'm just going to have to uh, figure out. Read up on, figure out. Hopefully, if I'm reaching out to the guys on the forums, they can help as well. But if not, oh, well, we're going to, my, me and my team, my friends, will figure this all out. But, yeah, that's it. There goes the filter. I just didn't open that box, but pigtail that i got from lethal shout out to lethal yeah and lethal, shout out to they gave me this swag back and the uh, the shirt as well but there goes the gasket and then yeah so there you have it okay so if you were unaware of what car it was going in and this is your first time tuning into the channel this is the 93 notchback that this is going in that it's going into Oh yeah, I have the Cobra badge on here. That's the 03 Cobra badge. It's there for a reason because of this right here. So if you were unaware, this is what we're about to drop. That nasty 3.0 in. I am uberly excited, but you see why we just have to be careful. But this is what is going in. 
So the car has been sitting for the last three weeks. It ran perfectly, nothing was wrong. It's just waiting for a new supercharger um, to go in there. So right now I'm gonna have to push it to get it in the middle of the garage, but hey, it's gonna be something amazing. All right, so this is the KSD notch, just in case you didn't know. So everybody, that's part one. And like I was saying to you all, get ready. I'm not wasting any time. I'm gonna put this thing together. Um, I may drop part two tomorrow. I'm excited about this whole thing. Um, all my buddies know the Eagle has landed. And so we are here, the KSD notch. We're shooting for more horsepower. Um, will we go E85? Will we go uh, racing gas? Who knows? But we're going to go with something more than what we had. So thank you all. Like I said, shout out to Whipple Superchargers. Thank you all again. Lethal Performance. Um, thank you all. Stacy. appreciate you. Nick, thank you. Andrew, thank you. You all have made this thing possible for me to do this. And then thank you to all the subscribers. Um, you all, the, the channel has been growing. And I, I cannot express how much gratitude I have uh, from that. I know I haven't gave you, given you content in about seven days, but I'm about to overload it with you. I was just waiting for this. I didn't want to make another video without having this supercharger here. And so the Eagle has landed and it's time to have a good time. So if you like this video and if you're looking excited or looking forward to this being installed and seeing an install video, I need you to like, I need you to subscribe, let somebody else know and comment in the section below. What do you all think the horsepower is going to be? Now, if you say something stupid, I'm going to reply to like, you say something dumb, like 500, 400, oh, it's slow, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to say, show me a picture of your slow car as well. But I love you all. Thank you all so much. It's your boy, Kim Shaman Blue Over Media. Looking forward to your comments, and I'm out.